If your students are struggling with algebra, specifically with two-step equations, let's take a couple of minutes and just dive in so you really feel comfortable with this. Now, if you haven't already done one-step equations, we're gonna cover that really quickly in the beginning as well. And then by the end of this video, you should be well on your way. So again, it's only gonna take five or six minutes. So let's dive right in. Okay, so on my paper here, I've got written two equations, each of them are going to need two steps to solve. So the first thing we do is identify the variable, the thing we don't know. And in this case, it's going to be an x. Over here, it's also an x. Okay. And then the first thing we do is we look and see, is there any addition or subtraction that we need to handle first? And the answer is yes. So this needs to be handled first before we can start dividing by 9. Right, because if we started dividing by nine, this uh, would be nine over nine, this would be one ninth, this would be 10 over nine, and fractions like that are ugly to handle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say nine X, and then uh, to put the one on the other side, we simply subtract one, plus one minus one, that's a zero. Okay, so then we just drop the equal sign, 10 minus one is nine. So we're not done yet though, because X is not by itself. So I'll rewrite this so it's more together, okay? So to get x by itself, instead of subtracting 9x, because the x is attached, to get it detached, all we do is we divide by whatever number is in front of the x, okay? So that happens to be nine. Nine over nine is one. Nine over nine over here is one. So my answer is x equals one. And so this is a unique value of x that if you put it into this, will make this statement true. So 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10, and that's true. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. Okay, so I have 6x minus 5 equals 7. So do your addition and subtraction first. So don't mess with the 6 yet. This is what we want to handle first. So it's a minus 5, so we have to add 5. We want to make this go to 0, okay? because we want it to pop up on the other side of the equation. Whatever you do on one side, you've got to do on the other. So let's rewrite it. So this is 6x minus 5 plus 5 is 0 equals, and 7 plus 5 is 12. We're not quite done yet because we don't have x by itself. We want it to look like this, x equals something. So there's a 6 in front of it, and to get the 6 um, away from the x, we're going to divide by 6 because 6 over 6 is 1, 12 divided by 6 is 2, so x equals 2. So in this case, if we put a 2 here, this is 5 times, or I'm sorry, this is 6 times 2 is 12, minus 5 actually does give you 7. So this is a unique solution for this equation. Now before we do the next example, I hear from a lot of parents whose kids are frustrated in learning math. Now whether it's from a dry, boring textbook or teacher, you know, if you can relate, I think I've got something that'll really help. I'd like to invite you and your kids to join me for a free math class that I'm teaching online about how to learn math really the easy way. So it's not frustrating. Um, and so you can register at no charge. Just click the link below in the description or comments or simply go to getmath.net slash learn. Okay, let's continue. So I have three X on this side. There's my unknown and we have a minus four. So this is the thing I'm gonna handle first. Any numbers that don't have an x attached, I want them all on one side of the equation. So I'm gonna add four to both sides, and eight plus four is 12 equals, this goes away, because minus four and plus four, and all I have left is three x. Now I wanna work on getting the x by itself, okay? So I'm gonna divide both sides by whatever is in front of the x, and in this case, it's three over three, because remember what that means. This is three over three means I have something that's in three parts, that's the bottom, and three means I'm talking about the whole thing. So three over three actually equals one, okay, from fractions. So this goes to one, and I have x equals 12 divided by three is four. Okay, so x equals four. In this case, you might be wondering, ooh, what do we start with first? Okay, so find your unknown, which is here. Always get all the, the numbers that don't have an x attached to it on one side and the numbers that do have an x attached on the other side. So I'm going to subtract nine from both sides. So I have x over five equals, right, because plus, 
plus 9 and minus 9 is 0. And I have 11 minus 9, so that's going to be a 2. Now how do I get the x by itself here? Well, if I multiply both sides of the equation by 5, do you see how 5 divided by 5 goes to 1? Same reason that 3 over 3 went to 1? Yeah, okay, so I have x is equal to 2 times 5, which is 10. And you can see if I put a 10 in here, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 plus 9 is 11. So this is a value for x that satisfies the equation up here. What do you do with a problem like this? Okay, so in this case, I can't get that negative sign out because the 4 is keeping me from doing that. I just can't say minus 31 because really what we have here is x over 4 minus 31 over 4 equals 2. So that's kind of messy to deal with. So instead of doing this approach, what I would do instead is I would multiply both sides by 4 so we don't have any more fractions in the problem. And this 4 over 4 is going to cancel. 2 times 4 is 8. So I'm going to rewrite this over here. So I have an x minus 31 equals 2 times 4, which is 8. Do you see how much easier that is to work with now? Okay, and then I'm going to add 31 to both sides x is equal to 8 plus 31 is 39. Okay, so here's a case where we had addition and subtraction, okay, one of those, subtraction, and then we also had a division, but we, in this case we did, did the division first, so then we could um, work through the problem easier. You will get the same answer if you do it this way, it's just a little bit more complicated to work with. Let's take a look at this one. So I found my unknown, we're going to handle this first and put the 2 on the other side. So minus 2, minus 2. I have a 3x equals 8. And then I'm going to divide both sides by whatever's in front of the x. Okay. So x equals, and in this case, I would leave it as 8 thirds. You may have a teacher who prefers mixed numbers. And if that's the case, um, you can do the division here. So 3 goes into 8 two times, and it has two leftovers. Okay, so either way is fine. You can leave it at that. Or if you have someone who prefers decimals, you could write that out as well. That would be 2.6 with a bar over it. So if you want your kids to learn math the easy way, without all the tedious frustrations that so many kids these days tend to face when it comes to math classes, I'd like to invite you and your kids to join me for my free online math class in learning math the easy way. And you, it's totally free. You can register at no charge. Just click the link below in the description or the comments or simply go to getmath.net slash learn. I'll see you in the next class.